If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this video, we are going to see how you can get started with litmus chaos experiments on AWS EKS using IRSA. IRSA stands for IAM role for service account. In last video, you have seen how you can get started with litmus chaos, how to install in AWS EKS, and how you can mount the AWS access and secret keys. And then I also mentioned that it is not recommended. So in this case, we are going to leverage the IAM role to run the chaos experiments. Just to recap, to install Litmus Chaos, you need uh, Kubernetes 1.17 or later, persistent volume of 20 GB, and uh, Helm 3 or Cube CTL. And then you need to apply the YAML manifest. And then uh, you need to uh, patch the uh, service here. So this will give you the uh, elastic load balancer. And then you can access it from the browser. Once you launch uh, with the port 9091, you need to enter the default credentials, which is admin and litmus. So after you successful login, you can see the uh, self agent must be active so that you can run your experiments on your instances or the pods. Then you need to create the workflow. So workflow will have the experiment step-by-step uh, uh, -step instructions. So here you have to mention uh, the EC2 instance ID. So in last video you have seen how you can uh, stop and start the EC2 instance using the instance ID. And then you need to configure the region. And then if you kick off the uh, experiment, definitely it will fail. Because your litmus chaos doesn't have any privilege to access your EC2 instance. So that is where uh, we have already created something called a uh, secret. So you need to create a kind a secret object in uh, Kubernetes. And then you need to add the variables access and secret access ID. So this will mount your secrets so that Litmus Chaos can leverage these credentials to stop and start the instance. And then if you execute your workflow successfully it will execute your experiment on your ec2 instance as i mentioned earlier mounting the secrets is not a good idea because we are hard coding it and it's not a recommended practice all you need to follow is zero trust framework so zero trust framework is nothing but the least privileged access to any entity that needs some access or no access at all for example it could be like a temporary credentials uh, for a certain duration or uh, say multi-factor authentication etc do not hot code any access and secret keys in any of your hosts that is not at all recommended and to grant access to the pod basically the litmus pods you need to follow the iam rules for service accounts so this is the concept which got created a couple of years ago if you are using a very older version of uh, AWS EKS, definitely you might not be able to use the uh, AM role for service account. Only in the latest versions you can leverage this feature. So now we are going to see what prerequisites we need to implement the uh, IRSA, IRSA. Of course, we need the uh, EKS uh, cluster. So IRSA is a concept uh, for AWS. So you need to have a EKS uh, cluster or on AWS and then you need to have the uh, litmus chaos and then the first step is to you need to create or validate the oidc provider url so this command will uh, give you the output of the oidc so this is the sample oidc uh, url so oidc stands for open id connect again uh, this is the uh, beyond the scope of this uh, presentation about the oidc but I'll try to explain in a very simple manner. So YADC helps you to grant access to your AWS resources by generating uh, a JWT, uh, the web token, and then uh, it will generate the, it will leverage the STS basically to uh, access your AWS resources. It could be your AWS account or it could be some other AWS account. In this video, we are going to see in the same account in next video, you will see cross account privilege. After you creating or after you validated the OIDC concept, the URL, the next step is to you need to create a policy. 
So here, this command will create a policy called chaos playground policy, and the manifest uh, chaos playground policy dot JSON will have all the details like what it can access, what resource, and what action the policy has. Either you can create it from the console or you can use the uh, CLI command. Then after creating the policy, the next step is to create the role with the uh, trust relationship. So this JSON definition will have the trust relationship. So trust relationship uh, will have the OEDC URL and the other uh, action. Then you will be able to create uh, a role with the attached uh, trust policy. The next step is to attach the policy which you created. So in the previous step, we have created the policy. You have to attach that policy to the uh, role. So this command will help you to attach the policy to the created role. And then the last step, you need to annotate. So annotation will help you to annotate the role you have created in your litmus namespace. And we are going to annotate the litmus admin service account. So we are not going to create something new service account which might not need in this context. So we are going to annotate only the litmus admin in the litmus namespace. So this looks very complex, but once you start following the uh, instructions uh, in my blog, it will be very easy. So now let us see a quick demo how you can implement the IRSA. So once you log in into AWS console and uh, search for IAM, and if you click on uh, identity providers under the access management, here you can see the identity provider. Suppose if you are not seeing this, uh, you need to either create it from the uh, console or you can use the CLI command which will create the OADC. So after making sure the OADC is present or not, the next step is to create the policy. Here I already created the policy called chaos playground. So let me just expand here. So this is the manifest where it will grant the action EC2 all the actions on all the resource and similarly STS all the action and all the resource. So this is the policy. So once you successfully created this policy, uh, make sure you are creating a role. So here again, I have already created. And also while creating the policy, make sure you follow the zero trust framework. Uh, do not give anything uh, like a star like me. I'm just being playful because it's my personal AWS account. In your production, make sure only the relevant access you are granting in the policy. So in the role, again, I have attached the same policy. So make sure you give the uh, right uh, privilege here. And if you click on the trust relationship, you can see the OIDC URL, the account ID and the sts.amazonaws.com. So it will take this action. So basically it will assume the role and it will generate some temporary credentials. So these are the prerequisites from the AWS console, mainly uh, from uh, IAM perspective. The uh, when, you, when it comes to Kubernetes, so the first step is to annotate the account. So let us annotate the service account. So this command will annotate the uh, service account in the namespace uh, litmus and the service account name is uh, litmus hyphen admin and the annotation, the key value pair you can see eks.amazonaws.com uh, and the value is this particular role. And then make sure you're using the override so that it will perfectly override the any existing annotations. So once this annotation is done, uh, you can also uh, describe so if you just type k describe sa uh, in the litmus uh, uh, workspace and then if you just type uh, litmus uh, admin so this will uh, give you the annotation details so here also you can see the annotation is successfully added so this is the must step otherwise your litmus admin will not be able to access your instances now let us uh, go back to the uh, console and let me open my uh, ec2 so in my EC2, I have one uh, Nginx, which is uh, up and running. In my uh, region, I guess it is uh, US East 2. Let me go to US East 2. So here I'm running uh, three instances. One is these two uh, for the worker nodes. And this is my uh, demo uh, Nginx uh, application. So this is what we are going to stop and uh, restart from Litmus Chaos. Now let me go to uh, Litmus Chaos. So here, let us uh, quickly uh, create the uh, litmus uh, workflow. Before that, just uh, follow the blog article. So I will add this link uh, to the uh, description. Please check it out. So this has the detailed step-by-step -step instructions. 
So now let us uh, create the uh, workflow and select the self agent and then uh, select the chaos hub and then uh, give some name click on next and click on add a new experiment and search for ec2 so it's very self explanatory nothing fancy here just make sure you have the uh, right uh, access and you know what you are doing so now let me copy the instance id from here and then let us paste it in the uh, litmus chaos and make sure the region is us east 2 and then click on uh, finish and before you go to next step make sure you are removing the uh, secrets from the default yaml just click on uh, edit yaml and search for uh, say secrets and remove the line number 71 and again uh, there should be some other reference here line number 152 to 154 so just delete and save changes click on next 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 finish and go to workflow now let me open my lens ide so here as you see it's already uh, kicked off the uh, workflow so this will again uh, start another job and it will create the experiment pod so experiment pod is the one who reaches the ec2 instance and then it will try to stop and start so here this will take around 30 seconds or so to get started with the actual uh, execution now let us wait for a few moment and then let me open the ec2 experiment pod and let us analyze the logs so this is the experiment pod uh, which got created and if you click on pod logs uh, here you can see the uh, actual logs so it is stopping the uh, desired ec2 instance so it's actually started the uh, stopping the uh, ec2 instance and it is stopping so now if we go to your uh, ec2 console and hit refresh see it has gone because of this filter let me remove this filter you can see the nginx instance is now in stopped status so after the experiment is done the pod will go away so now it is waiting for 30 seconds here and then after 30 seconds it will uh, restart the uh, pod basically it is it will revert to the previous condition let us wait for a few more moment so that ec2 will get back to running status so now if you hit refresh as you see here nginx is pending and if you wait a few more moment it will be in uh, running status so now our experiment is successfully completed now if you go to your uh, workflow and I click on here so as you see it's still uh, loading but actually our experiment is already done it will take some time to uh, do some cleanup and it will uh, uh, time to uh, propagate the changes uh, in the UI so this is how you leverage the IAM role for service account so that you will give you the uh, grant the uh, fine grained permissions to your litmus chaos uh, objects to access your application so do not grant everything all the privileges do not open uh, any kind of access un unless it is required so always follow the IRSA IAM role for service account so that's it guys next video we will see how you can do this in the cross account how you can stop something uh, using the aws uh, uh, cross account so mainly in production you will have multiple accounts so how you can access the ec2 instance or any other uh, aws resource from one account to another account so thank you for watching and have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to QA Insights channel.